Hey guys, it's Semfy here, and welcome to another part in my Krunker map making tutorial series. In today's video, we will be looking at testing and hosting your map, so let's get right into it. I talked about testing and hosting in the last tutorial, but I'll explain it in full detail here. You've probably seen the little play button at the top of your screen. This is the test map button, and it makes a private lobby that only you can join. This is technically offline, and a few things don't really work in test mode. That doesn't mean you shouldn't use test mode though. The testing mode is great for running around your map and checking everything out. It loads fairly fast and it's a great way to check scale and the overall flow of your map. Most of the time you should use test map, but if you have triggers, breakable objects, gates, weapon pickups, and a few other technical things, you can use host game. In test mode, these things don't work, so you'll need to use host map. This is the button next to the test map button kind of looks like an upload symbol, but once you click this, it will bring you to a new online Krunker tab with the host settings up. If you changed any of your modes, classes, and settings over here, they will not show up after clicking the host map button. Once you scroll through all the settings, you just click start server, and it will make a public lobby that other people might be able to join depending on your settings. Anyways, here you will be able to test breakable objects, triggers, gates, and everything else we talked about. This method takes much longer to do, so you should only use it when you want to show the map to other people or test one of those technical things. So that just about does it for this tutorial on testing and hosting your map. If this helped, leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to join the MMOK Discord if you have any questions, but now let's move on to the next part of the series. Bye!